get tool strategy. Um, we'll go over that in a little later slide. In order to successfully perform its test and understand the results, of the testing team will need to have a comfortable understanding of SOA and all of the elements in the environment under test. The very issue that SOA addresses, which is sharing legacy data from uh, current applications and technologies, also means that to successfully perform its test, the testing team needs to be very proficient at the different hardware systems, the different databases, um, different business logic and technologies, different business uh, application servers, different presentation layers, and all sorts of different varying um, services and, and messaging. In order to understand the impact of the consumer load on the system, the test team must have enough of an understanding of the systems under test to be able to identify the bottlenecks and capabilities. It is really important to assign appropriately skilled teams of performance engineers to the testing effort and assign engineers with knowledge of the systems under test um, to be able to monitor and analyze the impact of the testing on the application and the infrastructure. When planning for performance testing and evaluation of an SOA application, uh, I believe that planning is really the key to success. Dividing the whole into smaller components will provide a more manageable testing effort with limited systems, databases, technologies, protocols, messaging, functionality, etc. When testing SOA, you need to keep the following in mind. Services are not complete applications or systems, and they really must be tested that way. They are smaller parts of an overall application. Also, consider that performance testing is not functional testing. The performance testing efforts should only include a subset of the overall functionality of a service and not functionally test every uh, parameter, positive and negative, with every possible different combination of data. Um, I would like to take a few minutes and drill deeper into our approach um, and methodology for addressing SOA performance testing. It's divided into several distinct phases, starting with planning, which is key and then methodically documenting and moving through uh, to automation, testing, and analysis. So uh, during the discovery phase, it is critical to understand a compl or to gain a complete understanding of the services under test and the infrastructure that it's running on. Analysis of the message or request that is sent to the service is also important, um, as is narrowing the test case functionality to a, a small subset that will still provide an understanding of the performance aspect of the application. It is important to define data that will be used for the testing, understand the response that will be returned, um, and from a, uh, a service side perspective, and how to also verify that that data um, that's being sent arrives successfully on the, uh, the server side. As with functional tests, there is um, where testing correlates with uh, functional requirements, performance testing should correlate with performance requirements or SLAs. The pass-fail criteria should also be um, either requirements or SLA driven. So the planning um, during the discover phase is what is going to drive the rest of the testing efforts. All right, listing test planning as a step uh, in the process may not seem needed, but uh, surprisingly, this is the step that is most often skipped by many organizations because of uh, limited time or resources um, or other things. Uh, documenting the planning um, of the testing and the deliverables is key to succeeding. This really drives the testing organization and informs management of the intended deliverables. Testing, um, performance testing uh, generally requires automation in order to generate the load or the traffic. So automating a transaction can be straightforward in some cases, if it's uh, plain uh, XML over HTTP, for example, but then automation can also be very complex for proprietary communication, and that may require custom developed test harnesses um, if the availability of the testing tools um, won't provide that uh, specific support. 
There are several different facets to performance testing. Load testing itself, which is testing up to a predefined uh, consumer level. Stress testing, that's actually testing the uh, system, adding load up to the point where the system itself breaks. Volume testing, um, that's adding data uh, to the system, lots of data, and then analyzing the imp impact of the, the, the size of that data on uh, performance for future transactions. And then reliability testing, which is running load tests over an extended period of time and then analyzing the robustness um, at the end of that uh, load test. The monitoring is from a performance uh, perspective, looking into key metrics on the consumer side, like response time, and on the server side, like CPU, um, and then comparing all of that to the traffic that is currently being generated during the testing. Um, in fact, all the different measurements are uh, compared um, against the consumer traffic. Um, so with the, the consumer traffic on the uh, uh, client side and the server metrics on the, the uh, server side, um, eventually you're going to be able to determine or show the capabilities of the system and even point out bottlenecks in different uh, areas for improvement. In SOA, services are based on heterogeneous technologies. So no longer can we expect to test an application that was developed by a unified group as a single project delivering content through a standardized browser interface. The ability to string together multiple types of components to form a business process, um, test planning and execution requires unconstrained thinking from a tester's perspective. SLAs are critical to set expecta uh, expectations with consumers. Performance testing is required to understand capabilities and limitation. The test team will require a broader set of technical skills. Um, simplifying or narrowing testing by focusing on the service um, in a service level performance test. And then finally automating um, automation tool strategies will be dependent on the SOA implementation. Is it a web service or is it something that's proprietary? Uh, with that, we'd like to uh, thank everyone for their participation. Um, it's been uh, uh, great talking with you today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on uh, future webinars that we present here at App Labs. Thanks again. Bye-bye.